It took me a while, but I finally managed to work out how subroutines work within System 1 protocols. First things first, why would I want to use a subroutine? Well, let me show you this example. I've got two main paths through this protocol, and in both cases, where I've marked these boxes in blue, they're the same sets of instructions, the same branches or outputs. If I had three or four paths, they could each actually have those within them, and whenever I decided I need to make any changes, so this uh, read code here is no longer the right one, I want to change that, I'm going to have to change it in one, two, maybe three, four, five different places, depending on how many paths that set of instructions comes up in. What I want to do then is simplify things. I want the screen to look clearer. Um, I don't want to be calling up a separate protocol with just that set of instructions, because then it can bounce back from there. That's an old approach. I can use a subroutine instead. There's more than one way to achieve this. This is the first way I've found, and it works for me, but obviously you don't have to follow exactly the steps I'm going to use. My first thing then is I've identified where the instructions match. I know what it is I need to have in the subroutine. I need to get myself set up ready to, to use that subroutine. So I'll use the start subroutine. I'm going to put one here just beside that add code and I'm going to put another one here just beside that add code. That just means for me I'm not going to forget exactly where I need to, start, uh, to run things from even after I start deleting boxes. Now if we look at this first path we can see that that add code is reached from here and from here. What I'm going to do is change this so that goes to the subroutine and that goes to subroutine. I've got next and I've got subroutine. I'm going to put a link from here to where the code will end up. But this last instruction that I'm going to move into the subroutine goes to the medication review. So I'm going to go from the next on here, put that down there, break that connection, and I can now start moving these over. I've used control and click, bring these over to one side and then that subroutine is going to run from here. So when I get to this point it's going to follow that path. When it gets to the bottom it will automatically pick back up here and go onto there. So I'll do the similar thing here from this to here, from the next down to that question which is after the last instruction from subroutine to here and then this and this and this and this I can delete. I now have a subroutine set up ready to go. So this is to give you an idea of how it'll actually work in action. I've started the protocol already it's for a female patient so we can see that we're going to follow this path. I want to cancel each of the things it wants us to do just so we can work our way through. So we've now got down to the information box, another information box, and then it skipped across here. It's worked its way down to information. That's the new acute that's trying to do. And then from the new acute, it's back to the start subroutine. And then if we look at the protocol history for that one, we see it's gone from the top through the sex box down the right hand side. It's then at point 9 on the subroutine. There's 10, 11, 12, 13. 14 is start subroutine again. And then 15 is that question. And finally, we got to the last add code. And that is subroutines.